Now, strangely, a closer look at COVID cases shows the highest number is in the 40 to 59 age bracket and not the 80 and over population. This national profile is different from different than the global uh, presentation, which show that the greatest number of COVID-19 cases are in the elderly. I'd like to take this moment to commend the nursing home operators who are enforcing the COVID-19 containment and mitigation policies set out by the Ministry of Health, which include visitor restrictions, infection prevention and control measures, training of their workers in infection control, environmental sanitation, a moratorium on readmissions, and government measures to protect the elderly population, including weekend lockdowns. Overall, the Bahamas is said to be making significant progress. The COVID-19 task force acknowledges there's been no COVID-19 related death in three weeks. The number of recovered cases and the decrease in hospitalizations and ICU admissions also being noted. Dr. Del Regis reminds the public though that the pandemic is not over. More than 330,000 people have died around the world from COVID-19. I ask you to stay disciplined, stay physically distant as much as possible, and continue to protect your elders. In doing so, we can further progress through the opening up phases and return to a greater sense of normalcy.